I want to introduce Kathy Meyer from Supervisor Safai's office who wants to make a few remarks. Hello, everyone. On behalf of Supervisor Safai's office, I'm very honored to present this award to Mary Harris. Mary Harris is a person that proves that one person can make a difference. From her volunteer work as a PTA president to her work with Coleman Advocates and the work that she has done throughout the entirety of District 11. She is the president of the OMI Neighbor, Neighbors in Action Group. She works with the Excelsior Action Group as a board member. And for years, she has been unifying the east side and west side of 280 in District 11. So it's my extreme pleasure to introduce Mary Harris. Thank you, thank you so much. I'd like to first introduce my family, my husband, Al Harris. Oh, this side, I don't know. Okay, this one, this one. Okay, our oldest daughter is in Texas, Gina, so she can't be here tonight. Next we have Becky, our middle child, and then her daughter, Skye, my granddaughter. Anthony, our son, Michael, Micaela, and the baby, Julie. <laughs> In the audience is my favorite sister, Connie, and her husband, Ed, my niece, Susie, my nephew, Scott, and my boss for 40 years, Douglas Grigg. They are my second family. Douglas and Katri are my second family and I couldn't work for a better, better family. Um, so I'd like to thank all my family and my friends and everyone that's come out to celebrate with me tonight and everyone who sent an email and a phone call and a note. I really, it's really touched my heart. Thank you so much. I'd like to say how proud I am to be in the Lifer Club. That's what we call it, the Lifer, the Lifer Club, with the previous winners and especially especially um, with um, Marlene, Mark, Roseanne, and Joelle, who are my friends, and I admire and, exp and, and respect the work that they have done. Uh, Over the last 25 years, I've had a lot of a asks in the OMI neighborhood and District 11, and I would like to thank the mayors, the supervisors, the city departments, and the city workers who have responded to all these requests. Mayor Brown answered yes right away when we went to him and asked him for the first library to be built in 50 years. I'll never forget that day. Then there was the <laughs> Board of Education when we went to ask for Sheridan School. That took three school bonds. That was hard work. And then there was the department head who absolutely said no way. No way, it's not happening. And I went stealth. I joined with another neighborhood group. He thought he was meeting with 25 people. The room was standing room only. We had signs, we had chants. He asked Al at the door if he was getting out alive. And Al said, only if you give her what she wants. He came in saying no, he signed the pledge, and we got what we needed for the youth in the OMI. I would also like to thank Ingleside and Terrell Police Stations. We've had the best captains from past to present. Tonight, Ms. Joe McFadden is here and Captain Denise Flaherty, but we also have Captain Lazar, who was fabulous, and Captain Lum. Thank you for being here tonight. You are, 
You and your officers are true community partners, and we could not work on our public safety issues or any of our events with, without that partnership. I mean, they bring turkeys. When I said chickens weren't good enough on Thanksgiving for our low-income families, they came bringing turkeys. And when I say we don't have toys for the kids, they come bringing toys. They are true partners in every sense of the word, and I thank you so much. In 1999, we formed the District 11 Council. At any given time, it's composed of 12 to 14 groups, and each one of those individuals devotes hundreds of hours every year to their community. Many have received NAN awards and are here tonight. I would like to thank them for their support and their friendship. San Francisco is a better city because of you, and most of you are our closest and dearest friends. Thank you. Okay. I know that much, that giving up that much personal time and commitment is impossible for everyone. But I would like to ask that we all do what we can. First, by being prepared for any event of an emergency with a to-go kit, and emergency supplies by going to sf72.org. Having a family meetup plan and a, a out of state contact. Next, Neighbors in Action has a tagline that I put on every letter that I write. And it says, a community of neighbors helping neighbors. I would like that to be a San Francisco value. If you <coughs> a San Francisco value of neighbors helping neighbors. If you see something, say something. If you see something that doesn't look right, if people are going through car, you know, looking in car windows, trying the knobs, taking packages off the door, those aren't your neighbors, please call the police. If you see litter, please pick it up. If you can't, please call 311. Get to know your neighbors, get to know each other especially seniors and disabled. If there's a power outage, a heat wave, a fire, or earthquake, please check on your neighbors, especially your seniors. Make sure they aren't burning candles, they aren't dehydrated, or they haven't fallen. This is something we can do, all do in all of our neighborhoods. So let's make that Neighbors Helping Neighbors a San Francisco value, please. Thank you. So now I'm getting ready to wound up here. You guys are hungry, but I saved the best for last. I'd like to thank my husband, Al Harris. We've been... <laughs> we've been together 40 years, 36 on Valentine's Day. He is my partner in crime and my true best pal. We call each other pal all the time instead of our names, unless we're mad at each other and I can't tell you those other names. <laughs> he supports me in everything I do. He has never said no to any of my dreams or plans. He has never complained on how late I've come home. And I'll remember that meeting with Gavin Newsom that lasted till five in the morning. <laughs> or the dinner that didn't get made when we've had grilled cheese, a can of soup, or a salad. Never once has he complained. He took care of our daughter when I joined Coleman Advocates to learn public speaking and um, how to navigate City Hall. After she graduated high school, he joined me in all the boards and committees I was on and even did some other things like the Friends of the Geneva Office Building, the African American Chiefs Forum, and he became a life, uh, library commissioner. All this is to say that Al deserves this award as much as I do and thanks to Daniel Holmesley and his infinite wisdom, he has made this happen. Please join me in congratulating Al Harris on the Lifetime Achievement Award. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> A lot of the things she says is true.
but uh, what are you going to do as your wife if you say <laughs> if you say no? It doesn't go very well. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it.